Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, January 7th, 2019. The Tarot card for today is the Queen of Swords. All right, so by now you probably think you know what I'm going to say. You would probably be only a partially tiny bit right. So let's get that part out of the way first, okay? Because as you know, two days ago, we had a new moon which was a partial solar eclipse in Capricorn. And this card has a way of showing up the day before, the day after, real, real close to our new moons and our full moons. And, you know, the caution that comes when it comes out at this time is always about, you know, trying not to be that person who reacts by being nasty which there is often a tendency, especially around the new moons. Okay, so next, let's talk about it from an eclipse standpoint and the whole new moon vibe, okay? <sighs> when things happen with eclipses, they become permanent. So by all means, if you are not looking for a particular relationship to end, then mind your P's and Q's. Keep your opinions and your criticisms to yourself okay because this is always like a no turning back kind of vibe i could probably talk for an hour here about all of this but i'm trying to keep it to a minimum next up tomorrow there will be a square between mercury and mars it is quite possible that you have already been feeling this given the fact that you know we're in new moon territory we're in eclipse season and this square is taking place okay I, I give this until, let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm going to say at least Thursday, you know, by Friday before you feel you're in the clear of it. This is, there's a lot going on right now, all right? Mercury is direct in Capricorn. Mercury likes to talk, okay? Mercury is the messenger, communicator, okay? Now, Mars is the planet of action and energy. Mars is like that god of war, all right, has a tendency to be a bit too aggressive. If you look around you and you see people really lashing out this week, this Mercury-Mars square is very likely the culprit in addition to the new moon, okay? We're, we're going to leave it at that. We'll talk about it again tomorrow. Now, first up, but last with this queen with today all right she is so positioned to really help you go forth and do good in your life venus leaves scorpio today and moves into sagittarius with that transit okay this actually is clearing out some long time energies for you in the last eight nine days have held some very important energy shifts which bring you to this moment okay you're no longer as of today dealing with so much of the crap that you've been dealing with for months on end in 2018. this queen provides clarity she is able to assess her priorities and act accordingly and allow you to really begin to get things organized now on Patreon, I just re-released some of my most important videos that go back a few months that help you really understand this time frame that you're entering. You are entering it today. It's almost like 2019 begins here. So if you are either on Patreon or you're in my members only area on Facebook, you're going to want to listen to Uranus and Aries, the Cancer Capricorn nodes, Jupiter and Sagittarius, the guidance for this eclipse, which just occurred two days ago. Most definitely the Mars in Aries, which is probably one of the most significant ones because where you're at today with this Mars energy, okay, if you're using it properly, you're really accomplishing a great deal. This queen could not be more perfectly placed as to your mindset for getting things done. And you will note that this is just not like, you know, I got a bunch of things I got to do. This is about how am I going to fix 
my life after years of crap that I've had to deal with in order to move ahead and create a new happiness and a new identity for the long haul. And by the way, I did also get all of those links fixed for your yearly sun sign tarot guidances, which will, you know, help you navigate much, much better. I think they are on my Facebook page. You know, they're printing out over the course of the day and you'll find some really valuable info in there to help you move this along because this is your starting point, okay? Don't be going off on vacation today. This is time to make things happen. So I'm gonna thank you very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.